guys, it's Lisi, the Sexy Grandma 2K, and I'm coming at you today, sis, with something really special. It is a trio collaboration. Yay! I am so excited about this, guys, because I'm collaborating with two of my wig bays, and we're bringing to you our wigs wish list for 2022. So let me just tell you real quick about the two bays that I am collaborating with. First one is Brittany from the Hearts and Cake 90. Hey, Brit! The Hearts and Cakes 90 is, I have been following Brit forever. She's one of the goats to me and the wig community. And I absolutely love and adore her. She is so sweet, so compassionate, so loving, so caring. And her channel is just phenomenal. I mean, you talk about professional. Brittany is a teacher by profession and her channel just it's so, just everything about it is so professional, so organized, and I love it. She brings you wig reviews, try on hauls, makeup content, home decor, just all kind of things, you guys. So if you, I'm sure you're following her already. I don't even know why I'm telling you this, but if for some reason you're not, please make sure you go over and check her out because I guarantee you're going to love it. The other wig bay is my sis, still looking good, 58. I absolutely adore Faith. She and I are the older ladies of the community, or I should say the more mature ladies of the community. And we have become extremely close, guys. I love Faith. Faith to pieces. Her channel is phenomenal. Now, Faith was a news broadcaster by profession, as well as a project manager. And she's also, you all, written at least two books that I know of. And I mean, she is really something special. You guys have got to go over and check her channel out. She brings you wig reviews, try on hauls, makeup um, reviews. She has a series that's called Wisdom Wednesdays, where she brings you content for women's health and just things to help you. And she, it, I just love her. She's awesome. So you guys make sure you go over, check her channel out, check out her wish list that she has for you, because you guys are not going to be disappointed. I guarantee you. I will leave there information to their channels and their videos below so make sure you check them out all right guys so i am so happy that Brittany asked me to collaborate on this when she first asked me i was like I, I, wish list i don't know what i would wish for but then as i sat and thought about it you guys <laughs> Your girl came up with seven things that she wishing for, for 2022. On my channel, I review synthetic wigs. I, I think I've done maybe one human hair wig. I'm planning to get off into more human hair in 2022. But up to this point, it has been synthetic units for me. Like if you're new to wig wearing, you may not realize that synthetic wigs are actually made out of fibers. So they're not hair at all. So they use things like acrylic, polyesters, uh, PVC, which is a polyest um, polyvinyl chloride. My first thing on my wish list is that I feel like any wig that is over $40 should have the best quality fibers, period. Because to me, when you start getting a past $40 range, now we're going to start looking at what's on the human hair clearance rack that I can get. Because these wigs are starting to get more and more expensive. So I feel like at a $40 to $50 price point, you should be getting the better quality wig at that point. And not only that, the second thing that I feel like on my wish list would be these, I feel like the brand should like on the description card, the boxes, whatever, they should tell us what fiber types are in the wig that we're purchasing. So is it Kanakalon? Is it Toyokalon? Is it a monofilament? 
Is it Futura hair? Like what kind of fibers did you use? Because my biggest pet peeve is I find a wig I absolutely love the texture of. I love the fibers. It's less shedding, less tangling. And I'm like, why can't they just make every wig out of this particular fiber? Well, sis, I don't even know the name of the fiber to be able to say, I want this particular kind on my wigs. So I wish it was like, <laughs> you know, how like when we buy food and how they have to have the nutritional value on the food product. I wish it was like that for wigs where they would tell us what fibers they used for this particular synthetic wig. Like, I don't feel like that's asking too much because then I can make a more informed decision on the type of wig that I want. So, for instance, when we're reviewing wigs, if I can tell y'all, hey, y'all, this is Futura fibers, and you know those fibers, you know, less tangling, a little more expensive, yada, 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 yada. And not only that, just so that I know, okay, I my favorite is monofilament. I'm just saying, for instance, so I know I want to buy the wigs that are monofilament wigs. So I just wish there was a better way to differentiate what type of fibers so that I know, you know, what kind of hair I'm getting and I know the texture that that hair is going to be. Yeah, and I just said a whole bunch. So I'm hoping that I'm even making sense on what I'm saying. Now, number three is... I don't mean to throw nobody under the bus or anything like that, but companies like Bobby Balls, can you tell us what them letters and them numbers mean? <laughs> like, oh, I'm confused. Like, what do all that mean? What should that mean to me? If I hear it's MLF 243005, like, what does the MLF mean and what does the number mean? Because it means something or you wouldn't keep putting it on there. So why can't you just be transparent and share that information with us? So that I know, oh, MLF means more long fiber or whatever. <laughs> I just want to know what it means. I've Googled it and I have no clue. Us when they start doing these lettering and numbering, what does it stand for? I don't think that's asking too much. Otherwise, why can't we just call this wig Gina or Sally or let's not call her Karen or Joy? Like, why do we need a MLF uh, yada, yada, yada? What does that mean? Okay. Can we, can y'all show when you make these wigs and you make all these different colors, can I just see a model in every color? Like, if I click on the website, can I see somebody in every one of those colors and not just two of the colors? Like, is that asking too much? I just want to see what the color look like before I buy it. Okay. Okay. And another thing, if you're a beauty supply store, would it be possible when I click on a color that I get a big square box that shows me that color? Instead, I got that little bitty circle, this little bitty circle that I'm trying to figure out what color is this? Like, <laughs> what? Okay, so I will say, like, Elevate Styles, I get happy when they have the wig that I'm looking for and I'm trying to figure out what color because I can click on the color on their site and I'll get a big square and it'll show me the color. And I'm like, okay, yes, I want that color. No, I don't want that color. But when I go on some of the other sites or I go on some of the brand sites, they give you this itty bitty circle or this itty bitty little rectangle that you can't figure out what that color is. I don't think that's asking too much. And I know like Outre, they will have a video that comes out before they drop the wig and they'll have a model on their YouTube channel and she'll show you the wig in like two, maybe three colors. But this wig come in seven colors. So can y'all just have her put on all seven colors and so I can see and make a more informed decision so that I know what color I'm getting to review? 
I don't know, y'all. Am I getting too nitpicky? Like, I'm, I'm really wishing. But I'm really wishing. I really would prefer you just to go ahead and put it on a model so that I can see the whole thing. But if not, can I get a big, a big, a big square to see what color it is? Okay. <laughs> Let's talk about hairlines and stock card claims. If you put it on this stock card, if you got a stock card on your unit and you write anything on there, can the wig pretty, pretty please, can the wig meet the claims of the stock card? So what I mean is, if you say to me, this is a full hand tie, 13 by 6 frontal, please make it be so. If you're going to say it's ear to ear, can you make it ear to ear? And can you stop calling HD lace transparent lace because it's really not transparent. Like I haven't seen a synthetic wig yet that has transparent lace. Now maybe I'm just missing something. If y'all have, tell me about it in the description box so I can go check it out and I can shut up. But... Don't call it transparent lace if it's not transparent lace. It's, yeah. If you tell me it's natural baby hairs, can you not give me baby bangs, but give me some baby natural baby hairs? Yeah, Bobby Boss, I'm just Let's saying. Let's talk about pre-plucked hairlines. Don't tell me it's a pre-plucked hairline and that thing got more hair on it than Cousin It. If you don't know who Cousin It is, just Google it. But it don't make no sense. Well, sometimes y'all say pre-plucked hairline and this hairline is as thick as a horse's tail on just the hairline. That don't make no sense. And now I'm plucking for days trying to thin this thing out that I done paid $60 for. Uh-uh. We're not doing that in 2022. So, so please, if you say pre-pluck, go ahead and pre-pluck it. Because it's going to be easier for you to pre-pluck it than for me to pre-pluck it. Because that just means you put, you know, less into less hair into the wig. I mean, I don't understand. I don't understand why it's a problem where you're not really pre-plucking what you're calling pre-plucked. If you're just going to pre-pluck the front, then why not claim partial pre-plucked hairline so then i know i'm gonna have to deal with the sides on this wig instead of telling me it's a pre-plucked hairline and now i got to be plucking till jesus come back because y'all done lied and ain't nothing pre-plucked on this thing you did a little bitty section right here and the whole side look a hot mess can we get hairlines that actually look like hairlines like i shouldn't be cutting my wig and just going straight across just and so now I'm just looking like somebody with a receding hairline because my wig is just straight across. Outre is starting to make these claims about this natural contoured hairline. And I'm seeing where they're going with it, but I'm not seeing it all the way like this picture looks on the actual hair yet. I see that they're really trying, but I don't see it to this degree yet. Another thing that I would love to have, if y'all gonna put them wide elastic bands in the wigs for us, we appreciate it. Thank you. But could you make it adjustable? Because sometimes them bands, I either gotta cut it off or I just gotta ball it up in the top of the wig because it's so small and it doesn't have a lot of elasticity in it that it's giving me a headache pulling on everything. Make it adjustable. So that way, no matter what size your head is, you can wear it comfortably and it can actually do what you're claiming it's supposed to do. Allow me to be able to wear my unit glueless. Thanks. Could y'all take as much time on the sides of the wig as you do on the front of the wig? So you know how like when y'all saying it's pre-plugged, some of y'all pre-pluck right here from here to here. Hairline means all of this is the hairline. So maybe if you're not going to do it all, just say partial pre-plucked hairline. So that way we know what we're getting. Just do it with the stock card claims. That's all. <laughs> Those are my eight items for my 2022 wish list. 
I hope it wasn't too ridiculous. I don't think that I'm really asking too much. I just want to know for sure what I'm purchasing. That's all. <laughs> all right, you guys. Please make sure if you are coming from Brittany's channel or from Faith's channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. I hope you feel comfortable enough to subscribe and check out the other content that I have on my channel. I literally just reviewed this beautiful unit. It is from Outre. Her name is Promise. Uh, promise 26 inches and I will leave a link to her as well in the description box but before you ever check her out make sure you click and go check out Brittany and Faith's reviews and find out what they had on their wish list. I can't wait to see it, to see if it's any of the same things that I had. You guys, I love and appreciate you so much. I pray that you're having happy holidays and that you're not feeling lonely or sad. Be blessed and remember what I always say, to show somebody a little piece of heaven today. You guys, this is Wheezy, the sexy grandma 2K, and I'll see you all on the next video. Let's go watch my girls. All right, guys. Love you to pieces. Bye.